Welcome to the Together for Good podcast, brought to you by Bethany Lutheran Church in Cherry Hills Village, Colorado. This episode is an additional stewardship episode. Pastor Gary decided that he had even more he wanted to say. We had a great conversation last week about stewardship, um, but he had some further thoughts uh, that didn't make it into his sermon or my sermon or that conversation last week, and we wanted to put that out there as we still find ourselves in this stewardship season as we consider our gifts in the year ahead. So uh, listen in. He's got some great uh, insights about the ways that stewardship invites us to a life of, of sacrifice and generosity and how that further connects us to God and is in a more and is a more abundant way to live. I'll turn it over to Pastor Gary now as he shares with you some further thoughts on stewardship. Welcome to this third installment of our stewardship podcast. So Pastor Nate brought you week one. Pastor Nate and myself, this is Pastor Gary talking brought you week two, and now I want to just give a few closing thoughts on this concept of stewardship for our lives. One of the things I learned in churches is that stewardship is largely misunderstood. Most people say, I don't want us to serve on a stewardship team because I don't feel prepared to ask people for money. If you've noticed in any of the publications here at Bethany Lutheran Church, we no longer have a stewardship team. Instead, we have a generosity team because I really think that gets at the heart of it all. Not that the heart of being a steward isn't there. It's just that it's kind of been corrupted a bit. And so we talk about generosity as that factor that moves us in our lives where stewardship can feel purely financial Generosity seems like it brings our entire life into the mix and how we experience generosity becomes much more emotional than it is strictly financial. So we do have a generosity team here that talks about generosity in so many ways. It's not just the generosity that people share with Bethany Lutheran Church, but it also is very cognizant of the generosity that Bethany Lutheran Church shares with our greater community. And we realize that generosity is never to be contained somewhere, but generosity is something that gets shared and shared and shared again. And that's what creates such a dynamic way of understanding generosity and ministry linked together. But there is one more part of this that we should be mindful of. And that is that generosity in and of itself could be an ending point for people. But for those who are looking for, for something a little bit more, it's being able to understand the concept of sacrifice and understanding that your particular way of giving or sometimes in a very real way, the amount that you give doesn't just feel generous, but actually feels sacrificial. That is, you understand that there are things that are completely within your means to have, whether it would be um, anything that you look at. For some people, it could simply be a, a better set of golf clubs. For another person, it might be a few more features on a car or even the type of car they buy. For others, it could be um, the house that they live in. For somebody else, it might be the vacation that they take and all the little extras that you can add along the way. And some people would say, I'm going to intentionally go without this thing, this new set of golf clubs or this addition to my home or the, the features on the car that I'm planning to buy. Whatever it would be, you would say, I'm going to intentionally go without that so that my life of generosity can be lived out somewhere else. I'm going to actually sacrifice something that is completely within my means so that ministry can be enhanced somewhere else. And that's true financially, but it's also, of course, true of the time that we give as well. There is time that you have within your possession that you could do with whatever you want. And yet we see all throughout the church and all throughout other God-pleasing ministries, people give up of the time that is within their control and they turn it over to create new ministry, new ways that God is glorified throughout the world. 
Basically, what they're doing is saying, me sacrificing that which has been given to me or which was is in my control, I freely give back so that God's name can be made known in a new way in the world. And to do that, we've talked about before, but it's worth saying again, there's an element of trust that comes through with that. Trust that if it's financial, that God will allow you to have enough of what you already need. If it's your time, trust that God will allow your relationships to flourish and maybe even new relationships to be built because you are willing to sacrifice some of your time in another area. When we turn our whole lives over to God, we really trust that God will do something special with us, through us, and that we'll be able to look at at those accomplishments, not so much with pride as, as, as much as a way of understanding that we have lived into God's best desire for us. Now, when we do that, of course, financially, it takes a little bit to really understand what does generosity truly feel like to me? And then even more, what does sacrifice really mean to me? I mean, how do I really play that out? Well, to be honest, we have to consider that there's a financial element to that. We have to know that there are possessions we could have that we intentionally go without. We have to know there are experiences that we could have that would have a financial cost to them that we intentionally go without so that ministry can be enhanced. And when that happens, we move from a financial consideration to a generosity consideration to a sacrificial consideration, but it all gets wrapped up. It, it all comes together. It all influences our life even deeper when it becomes a spiritual consideration. When we realize that as a person created in God's image, that the best of me will always be generous. The best of me will be even sacrificial. The best of me will be that which lets somebody else out in the world know that God is still active somehow, that, that God still cares, that God is still calling forth from the people of God a, a way to create in themselves an understanding of, of what God wants for the world. And so there's, there's an element of us turning ourselves over to the whims of the Spirit. And sometimes that'll take us places that we, that we hardly considered before. Places where we realize that a, a new relationship would never have begun had the Spirit of God not moved us to a new sense of generosity or sacrifice. An understanding that we see something accomplished by the church or other God-pleasing ministry that would not have been possible if it wouldn't have been for the fact that the Spirit moved in and through us. That it might encourage somebody to go to seminary or to devote their career to a place like Metro Caring or to live out their vocation as a, as a surgeon, knowing that they let people know that they're going to pray for them before they even walk into that operating room. All of these are ways that we say, my life can be turned over to God's Spirit in a way that brings life, not just for me, but for somebody else. And that's really what God did for us in Jesus Christ. A way of saying, I have something to give to the world that is going to benefit the world in a way that's almost beyond their imagination. It takes a very generous God to live like that for us. It takes a God who understands sacrifice. And God created us to understand those same aspects for our life as well. So yes, we are stewards of what has been given to us. We are called to be generous with those things that we have. We're even called to be sacrificial 
We're called to trust that God will always take care of us. And when we live that out, we realize that we are truly moved by God's Spirit to be the best person created in God's image that we can possibly be. Thanks for being a part of these Stewardship Podcasts with Pastor Nate and myself. Blessings to you in your life of stewardship, generosity, sacrifice, and trust.